I'm Jonathan Knudsen from the Synopsys Cybersecurity Research Center, or CERC. You might have heard of a little vulnerability called Spring for Shell. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what it is, what it is not, and how you could detect if it's a problem for you. Spring for Shell is a recently disclosed vulnerability in an open source software component called Spring Framework, which is widely used in developing web applications. It should not be confused with another vulnerability that was disclosed at almost the same time in a component called uh, Spring Cloud Function. So these are separate vulnerabilities in separate pieces of technology. The one that, got, that has everyone worried is Spring for Shell, and that's the one that's in Spring Framework. So if the first question that comes up is, am I even using Spring Framework? And you can look through your source code and uh, get with your developer team and try to figure that out, but it's kind of hard as a manual process. So the best way to do this is to use a software composition and analysis or SCA tool. An SCA tool scans your source code repositories and figures out all of the ingredients or open source components that you used in building your applications. And so when a new vulnerability comes along, it can very quickly answer the question, am I using that vulnerable component? The next question is, if I am using that component, is this vulnerability exposed in my application? With Spring for Shell specifically, it's exposed when you use Spring Framework in specific ways and deploy it in specific ways. And so while you can spend some time trying to figure that out, uh, it's going to be much simpler to simply upgrade the version of Spring Framework that you're using and then rebuild your app and redistribute your app. So that's a quick introduction to Spring for Shell and how you might find it. In the next video, I'll show you how you can use a trial version of our CodeSite plugin to find this in your own projects.